Working with ROS2 framework, workspace is a very important thing that contains build, log, install, and source directory. A lot of people get confused by creating multiple workspaces and following a tutorial that utilizes another name for the workspace that confuses a lot of people. This is the video that will solve all of your questions to some extent and bring you to the level that you will not get confused with same name packages on different workspaces no problem for you to understand the sourcing and build and different directories let's create a test workspace by directly creating a directory with subdirectories using this minus p i would call it test workspace and inside of that there will be a test source folder now this structure is important that there should be a source directory i'll go into this test workspace Let's open up and go into this test workspace. Here we are. Now, if I write call can build, three folders are created. They might be empty, but with some call can configurations. Interesting thing is there is nothing inside of source. Let's create two packages to understand these build and install directories. Test CPP package. This is the command to produce the package, but I cannot write it here. I have to go into the source directory and test CPP. A folder is created here in the source directory. A package has been created. Similarly, I'll go with Python test py. Another package has been created. Let's go into the test workspace and let's write call can build before pressing enter. Let's move into the build directory and open another terminal for install directory. Both of these are going to contain new packages when I perform call can build. Test CPP and test py for both of these install and build are now present. If I press test CPP, there are a lot of files being automatically created. Similarly, test CPP install contains a share directory and inside of test CPP, a lot of things are there. Now, this is a file structure for ROS2 call can build that call can build creates. To access these packages, if I write ROS2 run test CPP or if I don't write the last letter and press tab, it is not going to auto complete because my whole system doesn't know where the test CP package named is. So for that, I have to perform sourcing of the package, which is going into your workspace inside of workspace, there is install directory and setup.bash is the file that it is sourcing. If I press enter and now when I say ROS to run test cp press tab it automatically completes although there is no node or something like that similarly if i write p and press tab it automatically completes and it knows that test py and test cpp are present and i know the path and you can also say ros2 package prefix test cpp it is going to tell you the path to the package so this is sourcing and building for your packages using call can build and it creates these directories in order i have created two different workspaces now test one workspace test workspace both of these workspace contain same named packages and it is very good understanding of how workspaces are working in this right terminal i am going to go inside of my test workspace on the left one i am going to go inside my test one workspace both of these contain packages of the same name this is going to fix your concept about sourcing on the right terminal i source my test workspace and on the left one i source test one in which i am now interestingly both have the same packages so ros2 run package name is test cpp and i have also created a node node name is test node press enter i get the output although it is not same because i created the difference in the print command but you can see same command for running a node from the same package on both different workspaces the output is different the reason is on the right terminal this test workspace is sourced on the left terminal test one workspace is sourced and when i say on the right side test workspace is sourced it is only accessing these two packages and the content of them if I go into test one workspace, it is accessing these two, although the name is same, but the content is different. 
and we can verify that as well ros2 package prefix test cpp and the same command is going to give us different path test one workspace here and test workspace workspace sourcing is causing the difference in selecting which package it is working now if we take a look into the structure of these packages for c++ packages the structure is different it utilizes cmakelist but for python packages it utilizes setup.py and it is more like a python module that's how it is dealing you tell that this is the executable that you have to produce in python and as well as in c make that compile all the libraries and this is the name of the executable i want one common mistake that we make is we change the path of this folder what i mean by that if i create a folder named as repository and i think now i should move the test cpp into the repository and push it although i just dragged and dropped and moved the package into another directory but its path has been changed at this specific point if i perform call can build in my workspace it is going to throw me an error and that error is going to stop call can from building and it is going to say the source directory test cpp does not exist so whenever i make change in the package in already built workspace it is going to throw an error or let's say i just delete the package on the whole and i perform call can build it is going to build up and understand the package has been deleted but in this scenario where the package is moved or renamed it is going to throw us an error the next problem is very common in editing one file and the result is from different file that happens from the issue of sourcing if i am in the learner's workspace i have two packages same name but different workspaces as we can see the path the turtle bot 3 simulation from ros to workspace now it is from turtle bot 3 gazebo from learners workspace two different workspaces but exactly the same files most of the time you keep on editing these files for example in the turtle bot 3 world if i remove this world argument it is going to bring turtle bot 3 in an empty area and in the launch file for ros to learners workspace world file is going to have the world inside of it i perform call can build here and i have made the change inside of this turtle bot 3 world file of ros2 workspace and i'm expecting the results in learners workspace because i am confused with the same name and the same file structure perform source and ros2 launch turtle bot 3 gazebo and turtle bot 3 world.launch.py this opens up and threw an error for the robot name but it spawned the turtle bot 3 world that i commented out and that is because of the only reason that i am confused because of the same name and the same launch file and the same structure that i just commented out the world argument but it is not working and the simple solution is that to check the prefix and that is ros2 package prefix the turtle bot 3 gazebo check the prefix for this package if i open up another terminal and i write the same command it is going to give me opt ros humble a different path that is installed through the cli but the point here is you have to be really sure which package you are executing and what is the path to the package and what are the files that you are editing in all of those packages understanding ros2 workspaces is a crucial step for having a smooth development process throughout your ros projects so I hope you are now clear about workspaces and no confusion in sourcing multiple workspaces for your different projects.